Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ohio Traction Project. This is part two. Again, this is just a very small HO scale module I'm building that's going to focus on an inner urban railway. As I covered in the first part of this series, this is a five by two and a half foot layout. It's similar to a modified version, a simplified version of the Odell County Traction layout which was built by Bruce Gaiman and featured in Model Railroad Magazine in the late 1980s. This was the basic layout plan that I had come up with. However, as you'll see in just a moment, as I review layout progress, when I went to actually transfer the basic design to the module base, I could see that everything I had originally planned would probably not fit well. Uh, this section in blue, which is where the car barn is and uh, kind of the back end of the uh, part of the business district, uh, ended up needing more space than I had originally thought. So I basically going to modify my plan now to remove this section or part of the section in purple here, which includes a, a third street and um, some of these residences. So I'll just move forward with uh, a modified plan. I also want to mention that after uh, posting the first video of the project, I got some feedback from Mike Slater that provision could be made to connect the layout to other modules. That's an excellent point and one that I wanted to share for anyone who may build a similar project. Uh, I've highlighted here some areas, these three areas here, where a potential connection could be uh, you know, made to another module or even an extension of this layout. Uh, could be placed by adding additional turnout and then uh, additional trackage. Also wanted to point out that I do recognize that additional switching opportunities could be built into this layout by adding some industries, even for this small layout. Here are some places where industries could perhaps be placed for increased freight service uh, beyond the steam railroad interchange. This image shows the track plan basically transferred to my module base. And as you see, it's modified. I don't have that third street and all those residences I had over towards the middle that I had on the original plan. Okay, we're now going to take a look at some videos where I'm actually putting some trackage on using carpenter's glue and pens to uh, fixate them, keep them in place till the glue dries. I do apologize, the format's a little awkward on the video, but hopefully you'll at least uh, be able to clearly see what, I've, what I'm doing. So I'm gonna begin now just adding some initial sections of the track. I'm gonna soon be ordering some ore turnouts for the layout uh, that will uh, be appropriate uh, for traction, designed for traction with the girder rail. But for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and lay uh, this initial switch, actually which I've already laid, and this will be the interchange with the steam railroad, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put an initial curve here with Co 100 flex track. I'll later come back and uh, modify this flex track down this street area so it will be girder rail. So again, just the initial um, track laying on the layout. And I'll start over here. I'm going to place, uh, this is actually a code 100 turnout. I've got some code 83, which I want to use over here, which looks a little more prototypical. I'm going to go ahead and add this over here as well, uh, in addition to the curve. Some additional footage now of the curve I'm making here. I'm really not used to these very sharp angles that are hopefully going to be permitted for a, a traction layout. Uh, normally for uh, HO scale standard uh, railroad, this would be absurd, but uh, of course traction is a different, uh, different animal. So I'll continue my work on the curve now. So this is the final uh, piece I'll do, actually putting in the code 83 to this uh, switch, which again will be the steam interchange. Um, you can't see it very well here, but I do have 
transition connectors here that will connect the code uh, 100 with 83. Uh, Atlas makes this product. First time I've used it, but hopefully it will help me have a smooth transition from these two different codes of track. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in place and then I'll be set for this initial uh, track lane phase for right now. So this is just an image of the trackage I've got in place now and now drying. I have on order now some tight radius girder rail turnouts. And so I hope for my next video I'll be able to provide an update, maybe do a little bit of testing of some of this current track that I have. And then in the future I'll be able to install some of these turnouts and provide an update to that later. Thanks for watching and welcome any comments below.